Thirty-seven thousand, and this feels. It feels very plastic. Oh, I'm Italian. I like all the
back home. So I was actually not planning on vlogging today. I only went out to help Omar with his house hunting, but we ended up going to Songsudong for dinner. Then we went to this bar. It's actually my second time there. I love going to this bar because it's always such a unique and fun experience. It's very interactive. They do like game night. I think they said Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays is radio night. So for radio night, they take music requests. The workers also sing some songs and they're all really great singers. <laughs> They do like other fun interactive things. The first night that I went, they handed everyone a piece of paper and we had to write down what our biggest concern was. The workers would read them one by one and give us or try to give us advices. Tonight was also radio night. This time they had us write our most embarrassing regret. And I actually didn't write anything down this time because I couldn't really think of anything. It was really fun just listening to other people's embarrassing moments. One girl wrote down she was on an date with her boyfriend or situationship and at the end of the night when they were about to kiss she ended up throwing up in his mouth so yeah there was a lot of those funny and embarrassing moments that people were sharing so it was really fun i highly recommend it if you're ever in songsudong make sure you bring someone that knows korean so they can translate for you if you don't speak korean but yeah i'm gonna call it a night because i'm super tired the wrong shoes i almost slipped like five times it was so embarrassing but yeah i went to kyobo and i bought two books this book was recommended by a friend so i thought i would give it a read it looks really thin so i think i'll get through this pretty quickly but look how tiny the font is i was trying to read this on the subway and i was getting dizzy but yeah i'm excited to read this and then I also bought a textbook. In my last video, I've mentioned that for my newest resolution, I really wanted to work on my Korean since I'm living here now. So I bought this book and I'm starting from level one. Like I'm starting from the bottom. But yeah, hopefully this will help me improve my Korean a little bit. Well, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.